Hi, this is Peggy with Natural Awakening Chicago Magazine. Welcome back to our Women in Wellness series. All this month, we're speaking with prominent women in Chicago wellness, and I'm very happy to be here today with Ruby Greenberg from Massage Evolved. She's a Chicago native, and she is the founder and owner of Massage Evolved in the West Loop in Chicago. So welcome, Ruby. Thank you, Peggy. I, my name is Ruby Greenberg, and I am so happy to be speaking with you this morning about wellness, everything wellness, and um, my business, Massage Evolved, and how my business can help women and men live a more holistic and healthy life, especially during these times we are living in. Um, it's so important to keep our body and our mental health healthy. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to be here. So tell us a little bit about Massage Evolved. You have a wide range of services, both massage and you get into a lot of mind, body and spirit support for women and men, as you say. Yes. So anybody with a body can, you know, come to uh, Massage Evolved and experience. We offer massage therapy, energy healing, and also facials. Um, I take a very holistic uh, approach to the services, um, keeping in mind the mind, body, spirit connection, um, because believe it or not, we're not just physical bodies, but we also have a spiritual body that encases our physical body. And um, with our energy healing, we focus on clearing any energy that is not moving, that's out of balance in our body, because um, as we know, in a scientific fact, everything is energy. Mm -hmm. And so whenever we're in contact with um, other people, we may pick up, you know, their energy. And if their energy isn't the high vibing energy, then, you know, it will stay in our aura mm -hmm. or, you know, whenever we're also going through stress, anything in our life um, that is affecting us emotionally, um, our energy body will, it will be in our energy body and we'll pick it up. And then with time, it will start to penetrate to our physical body. And that's where massage therapy comes into play, where we can help people relax. Um, I believe, and I've, I see this all the time, I've been doing massage therapy for over 13 years. Mm -hmm. I see this all the time where whenever we're stressed, we carry tension in specific areas of our body, whether it be our neck and shoulders, which is, I see that all the time, you know, especially when we're sitting in front of a computer, yeah. we're really stressed out, our shoulders just tend to contract and then our neck hurts from, you know, especially right now with many people working from home, sitting in front of computers all day long, um, it causes stress and, um, you know, it's painful. So it's so the only way really to release all that tension is manually. Sure, we can pop a pill, right? We can take some ibuprofen, numb it, but it's not relaxing the muscle. It's not taking away all that tension. So it's so important um, for our well being to receive, you know, massage therapy. I think um, anybody um, who receives uh, massage therapy will not be able to live without it because they'll realize how good they feel afterwards. And it, I'm sure, you know, it's, I've, I see it all the time. It just becomes part of our um, lifestyle. And I think, you know, not a luxury, it's, but a necessity. It's not, it's absolutely not a luxury. It's def definitely a necessity. And um, I encourage everyone that hasn't received a massage to definitely, you know, try it out. It's worth the investment. You know, it's like we we can easily spend a hundred dollars going out to dinner and drinks, right? Um, and so it's important to um, invest our money wisely in ourselves and um, feel really good. And when we feel really good, then we're able to, you know, our energy is just uplifted, and we're able to help um, other people and. It's just like a, a really good contagious um, energy. You, we will just, you know, connect with more people and and um, really be, you know, the best that we can be. And I think that's you know one of the most important things that we can do for ourselves is to keep our our bodies and our minds healthy and um, you know uplifting 
uplifted thoughts and um, right. yeah, just live a better life. So you, you went to the Soma Institute and then you launched uh, Massage Evolved in 2014. What's your path? How did you get to be from growing up in Chicago to opening your own massage therapy studio? Yeah. So I've always had an entrepreneurial spirit ever since I was a little girl. I was always finding ways. And I, when I say little girl, I mean like five years old, Okay. finding ways to make money. Um, and I just, um, I just kept, you know, that entrepreneurial spirit. Mm -hmm. um, I always knew I wanted to be my own boss. Um, and so, and also to create a space where I can employ other massage therapists, um, working in different fields with chiropractors at high-end luxury spas. I learned um, a lot and I took, you know, the things that I learned and I wanted to create a space that was, you know, it was a beautiful, that it's a beautiful space that is very Zen and, and emits just, you know, positive energy um, and also deliver uh, really clinical and therapeutic massages that are effective and, um, and, you know, working with therapists that are honestly, hands down, we are the best massage therapist out there. And you've won um, some awards. And we have won awards for it. Everybody who comes in leaves, you know, feeling so much better and so much happier. And um, it's, you know, it's important for me to surround myself with positive, um, like-minded yeah. therapists. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I, I don't accept anything less than, you know, um, then I know that it's going to contribute not just to the business, but also to, you know, the, our clients. Well um, and it's, you know, it's important for me to gain my client's trust. Um, and they know that if I'm not available, that they can go with any other therapist and they'll receive, you know, an amazing massage. Yeah. So healing came to you kind of naturally from your family and your background? Yes. Um, I remember being a little girl and um, I had an aunt who was staying with us. Um, she was working at a factory um, trying to provide for her son who she left back in Mexico and she would work really long hours and she would have to wear like steel boot toe, uh, steel toe boots for work. And so she she would always walk to work and it was, you know, quite a hike. Um, she didn't want didn't have the money or, you know, wanted to save the money, um, that she would have to pay, you know, to get to work. Um, and so she would walk. And so, you know, she would work long hours at factory and we all know factory jobs aren't, you know, the best, um, jobs to have for our physical body. It's just like very repetitive work. Um, and she would come home and she would tell me like, oh, my feet hurt or like my back hurts. And just instinctively, I would just start to tell her like, oh, well, let me massage your feet or let me massage your back. And, she, you know, I would do it. And the next day she would be like, oh, my God, Ruby, I feel so much better. Thank you so much. Like, you know, it just helped take away all the stress that I had. I, you know, my feet doesn't hurt today. And mm -hmm. she would tell me this. So I was just like, OK, you know. Um, and, you know, I grew up, I didn't really know what I wanted to do, but I've always been drawn to, um, working and helping people like, you know, just physically feel better. Yeah. Um, and I started looking for, I just started Googling, like, you know, what field I can get into. I grew up in athletes. Um, and so I wanted to work with athletes. So I, st I just kind of Googled like, you know, sports therapy or something like that. And sports massage therapy came up and then, you know, my school came up um, and it's just like a little, you know, I can see, I can look back at it now and I can see how really like our, our lives are connected and there's always like a, a, a pattern, like a synchronicity, right? Yeah. Um, and if we just follow, you know, our intuition and we just follow what brings us joy, we're going to end up doing and being where we're supposed to be. Like there, there, I don't believe there's any mistakes. Um, I don't believe that is true. 
I just think that, you know, with any experience that we go through, it, it um, helps us develop our character and, and, you know, even gives us contrast for, with things that we don't want, right? So it's like, I did this and I didn't like it. That was a mistake. It wasn't a mistake. You learned, yeah. you know, it's not for you. So now you can, you know, go about living your life um, in alignment to what makes you happy and what brings you the most joy. And I believe, you know, when we make decisions from, from that space, from, you know, what, like tuning into our hearts and really knowing like what it is that it's telling us and connecting to it and following it, but most importantly, because sometimes we, we know, you know, it's not good for us to do something or to follow a certain path and we do it anyway. And, and again, like no judgment, it's okay. You know, sometimes we have to go through hardships to, you know, really realize like, Hey, like this isn't for me or, you know, yeah. so um, I just ended up um, not being happy working for other people. Um, and then my father, he, um, he was in a accident at work actually. Um, and both of my parents are, you know, were immigrants. Um, they migrated from Mexico. So they, you know, didn't have, you know, much money at all. Um, but with my father's accident, he received some money from the insurance company. And when I was 23 years old, he was like, here, you know, take this money and I want you to open up your business. And I, I mean, I, looking back at it now, I'm like, oh my goodness, my father trusted me. Yeah. You know, he must have seen something in me, right? Um, to trust me. And um, believe to me. Know that, yeah, to know that I wasn't just going to, you know, yeah. Um, blow it. <laughs> so I, you know, but still like, I, I didn't take that lightly and, and that made me really appreciate the opportunity that I was given and, um, start my, start my business. Yeah. Well, one of the, the comments you made, and also as we were preparing for the interview and for women in wellness, um, you had commented one thing as women we can do right now is to learn to listen to our heart's guidance and learn to connect with the wisdom within we can focus on making decisions for ourselves based on what we truly desire and stop listening to society and what everyone else says. And this has been a common theme in all of the women that we've been talking with this month, all of the practitioners of, especially with the pandemic, this shift that we're, we, we need to start listening more to ourselves and less to where society says we need to be. How are you seeing this manifesting itself? right now, either in your own life or in your clients? Um, you know, I have a lot of friends who are, and especially like with social media, we, you know, we're bombarded with what we have to do, what we should do, and like, you know, fear. And um, I think that fear could be good, you know, and because it, it makes us take action more quickly but I feel that the best way to make decisions is to tap into our heart wisdom um, and to know that, you know, we have the best answers for ourselves. Um, and when we seek external validation or, you know, we want other people to tell us what to do, we give our power away. And um, then, you know, we need to be held accountable for, you know, for our own um, choices. So Ruby, your life's purpose took a bit of a shift um, after you opened Massage Evolved and it involved your husband and your family. Can you tell us a little bit what happened? Yes. So in 2016, um, my husband of four years, he passed away. Um, he was dealing with some mental health issues, um, depression, anxiety, and accidentally um, mixed some of his medication that he shouldn't have mixed and that um, that resulted in him going under uh, cardiac arrest and um, unfortunately he was by himself and had no help um, and you know ended up um, passing away because of that and I it's, it's a very, you know, touchy subject for me, but it is something that I wanted to speak about because it's an opportunity for me to 
connect with people who have lost loved ones, um, especially, you know, right now during COVID, I know so many people's lives were taken away and, you know, they left behind wives and children and mothers and daughters and, and you know, a hole basically in, in their hearts. And um, it's, it could be hard to move on, you know, after that and um, just hard to get out of that hole. Um, but for me, it's, you know, it's important for me to say that even though, you know, sometimes when it's fresh, when the wounds are fresh, we don't want to hear, you know, everything's going to be okay. We don't want to hear that. You know, it's like, we need to feel the support and the love from our family and from our friends, because it's really up to us to get out of that, you know, to get out of our grief. And, you know, it's healing is a journey. You know, we don't ever just arrive. It's, it's a journey and um, it does, it does get, it does you do end up feeling less pain. Um, and, you know, you won't be crying all the time, you know, it, it will eventually you'll start to um, regain, you know, your purpose of life. And, and I feel that the way that I overcame um, his loss was just thinking about him. And um, I have some, you know, strong spiritual beliefs, you know, I believe that, you know, our soul is eternal. Um, he has found ways to connect with me and um, validate my, my beliefs and to let me know that he's okay and that he wants me to be happy and to go after my dreams. Yeah. And so I take that and I am putting everything and um, giving it my all, knowing that I am not just living this life for me, but also to honor his life and to continue moving forward with the goals and the dreams that we, we had together. Um, and I know I still feel his love and his support on the other side. And I know he wants me to, you know, keep doing, um, keep doing me and keep following my heart and my passions and, um, you know, eventually too, you know, find love again. Um, I know that that's something that he would want for me because that's something that I would want for him if our roles were reversed. So, you know, if you've lost your mother, your father, your brother, uh, your husband, your wife, you just know that they want the best for you and they don't want to see you sad. And it's okay to grieve. It's okay to cry. It's okay to break down and feel all the feelings that we are feeling. And, it, and it's therapeutic to, to do so. Um, it's part of, of the healing process, uh, but also remember that they want you to be happy and that they want you to chase after your dreams and they want you to continue to live life because, you know, we are still here and we're, out, we're still living. And as long as we're living, then we have purpose and, um, you know, follow your hearts, follow your dreams and don't give up. You know, if God put a dream in your heart, then it's for a reason. Mm -hmm. And the only way that we won't achieve it is if we, you know, stop uh, the progress that we're doing. Um, I honestly do believe that because it's happened with me where, you know, if we set out an intention, then God, the universe is going to provide the, the tools and the people and um, to come into our lives. Um, and it's important to keep open and um, keep going after our, our dreams. So what's next for you with Massage Evolved? Are you adding things? Are you, where are you looking to take Massage Evolved in the next year or two? So actually, um, I'm actually opening up a second business that's gonna be sister to um, Massage Evolved. It's gonna be called Beauty Evolved. Um, and it's again, taking the whole holistic uh, approach to beauty. Mm -hmm. um, and offering um, facials um, to, but also not just, it's not just going to be focused on like our skin, it's going to be focused on um, deeper than skin. So, um, you know, how I was saying before, our, our mental health and also our diets really affect uh, 
our, our physical self and how we feel and, um, and what we put in our body really does, um, you know, shine through, you know, um, our mm -hmm. skin as well. So it's going to definitely be a place where we want, want to empower women to feel beautiful because beauty isn't just defined by how you look, but beauty is defined by how, how we feel and the richness of, of our hearts. And so just to, you know, remind women that we're, we're all beautiful in our own way and that, you know, it's, we have beauty within ourselves that um, we should allow to shine through in our work, in our, in being kind and being generous and mm -hmm. lending a helping hand to whoever needs it. Um, and I feel that it's such an important thing to be reminded of because it's easy to, you know, live in fear and to want to just close ourselves off because we, you know, we're scared of either being hurt or giving our opening our heart. But I believe that to truly live life to, to the fullest, you know, it's important to be vulnerable. It's important to open our hearts and, and just let that beauty that we have inside shine through. Yeah. Um, and for me, beauty evolved is going to be that I want to use that as a platform to, um, help women um, who may be struggling with my, maybe like some um, self um, mental health or, or, you know, if they feel like they're ugly, like you're, you're not ugly, like no one is ugly. I think ugly is someone who is just evil, right? Who doesn't care about anybody else. That's to me, that's the real definition of being ugly. And the definition of being beautiful is, um, giving our hearts and opening it to strangers and to the people, especially the people around us that we see every day. For me, it's so important to tell my friends that I love them, to tell my kids that I love them, to show my parents that I love them and just, you know, radiate love. And, and your philosophy that it just ties right in, do what you love and do it with love. Well, thank you, Ruby. I've enjoyed okay. speaking with you today. I'm looking forward to Beauty Evolved. If people want to learn more about massageevolve.com, I'll try that again. I just said it the wrong way. So thank you, Ruby. I've really enjoyed speaking with you today and hearing about your approach and your experience. Very, very inspiring. I'm looking forward to Beauty Evolved. If people want to learn more about Massage Evolved, how can they reach out to you? Yes. So um, you can reach out to us. We're on Facebook. Uh, just search Massage Evolved. And our website is massageevolve.com. Great. Well, thank you so much, Ruby. Thank you for having me here. It's been a pleasure sharing and opening my heart to you guys. And um, thank you so much.